Hi everyone, my name is Alice Gorsian. I am a um, Curtin University alumni and a lecturer at the Australian Institute of Professional Counselors in Brisbane, Australia. Welcome to my presentation titled From Cultural Competency to Cultural Humility, a Researcher's Reflection. The aim of this presentation is to offer a reflexive account on the qualitative component included in my PhD research with consideration to researchers' positionality. Positionality refers to researchers' awareness of one's own worldview and orientation in conducting a research project. Reflecting on positionality is critical because it will impact every single stage of research. Positionality is situation and context dependent. Therefore, it is important to consider researchers' um, cultural, social, and political context. Two of the concepts that have been proposed in the literature to conceptualize positionality are the insider and the outsider roles. An insider is someone um, whose personal biography offers a lived um, familiarity with the group being researched. In contrast, an outsider is someone who doesn't have prior knowledge of the group being researched. It is important to mention that there are no clear cut boundaries between these roles. Therefore, a more pluralistic lens instead of a dichotomous one may better capture the complexity of human roles and identity. 10 years ago, I would have never imagined that I will end up doing a PhD in psychology at a, a university in Australia. At that time, I was working as a psychologist in Cluj-Napoca, Romania. Um, after um, I decided to migrate to Australia, I became interested in the mental health of individuals from culturally diverse backgrounds. And I was also intrigued by the cultural adaptation process of psychological interventions. So I decided to embark on a new journey at Curtin University, being guided by Professor Peter McAvoy, Associate Professor Rosie Rooney, Associate Professor Lauren Green and Dr. Robert Kane. The um, overall aim of my PhD research was to investigate cultural adaptations of cognitive behavioral therapy for depression in Chinese migrants living in Australia. My research included three interrelated studies, a scoping review, a qualitative study, and a quantitative study. The focus of today's presentation will be only on the qualitative study. The aim of the qualitative study was to document clinicians and community members' perspectives on the cultural adaptation um, of CBT for depression symptoms in Chinese migrants living in Australia. I used snowballing and purposive sampling techniques to recruit 20 clinicians and 14 community members. I use thematic analysis in the modified consensual qualitative research analysis for data analysis. One of my first um, insights was um, the fact that um, the semi-structured interview and the focus group protocols were framed from a cultural competency perspective. Cultural competency is the most influential concept proposed in the literature to assist clinicians in improving their capability in working with culturally diverse clients. Briefly, cultural competency refers to developing cultural awareness, knowledge, and skills. In the literature, there is a consensus over the importance of acquiring knowledge of clients' worldviews and cultural backgrounds, as well as developing culture-specific expertise. So I ended up um, developing a range of questions that aim to explore a way of doing CBT from a cultural competency perspective. 
Interestingly, clinicians did not emphasize the importance of acquiring knowledge and developing culture-specific expertise. Instead, they provided insights into a way of being in therapy, and they emphasized key skills that later on I conceptualized as cultural humility. Cultural humility is a skill that requires a lifelong commitment to self-reflection and self-critique and explicitly acknowledges the power imbalance between clinicians and their clients. Um, culturally humble clinicians um, explore clients' cultural identities through a collaborative therapeutic process. The key cultural humility skills mentioned by the clinicians were self-reflection, learning from clients about their culture, values and beliefs, exploring the impact of migration on ethnic identity, not making assumptions about the client's culture and not assuming culture-specific expertise. So we can see a substantial difference between cultural humility and cultural competency. I believe I was in a unique position in doing this whole qualitative study. I identify myself as a clinician. I am trained in um, CBT and I, um, and, uh, and I used other evidence-based therapies in working with clients with a range of emotional problems and mental illnesses. I identify myself as a migrant researcher due to my um, migration experience, but also because I come from a culture characterized as collect uh, collectivistic and hierarchical. And this gave me a lived familiarity with the group I intended to study. At the same time, I identify myself as an outsider researcher uh, because my ethnic background and my native language are different to the group I intended to study. Each of these positions have really important advantages and disadvantages. One of the important advantages of being a clinician was the fact that I was able to empathize with some of the clinicians' commitment to practice CBT. One of the clinicians stated, I just knew that I'm doing my CBT. And I totally resonated with that emphasis on my CBT. Some of the disadvantages of being a clinician um, included my personal discomfort when I interviewed clinicians that had different points of view on the CBT techniques, mainly on um, cognitive restructuring. Um, the clinicians I interviewed um, were questioning the um, effectiveness of cognitive restructuring, um, the cultural sensitivity and appropriateness of modifying cultural defined core beliefs. Um, I realized that um, the clinicians were asking questions I didn't ask due to my commitment to practice CBT. So eventually I um, ended up valuing the different perspectives offered by some of the clinicians. And I strongly believe that um, the fact that the um, clinicians I interviewed had um, so different points of view on cognitive restructuring reduced the likelihood of groupthink. An uh, advantage for um, being a clinician is the fact that I was able to value the recommendations for cultivating cultural humility. For instance, uh, one of the recommendations was to facilitate the values-based reframing. Um, in other words, to assist clients in becoming aware of their own values and also thinking about the, the values of their significant others when reframing um, negative um, uh, situation that was causing distress. An important uh, advantage of being a migrant researcher was the fact that I was able to understand some cultural nuances. 
such as somatizing distress and stigma attached to mental illnesses. Another important advantage was the fact that I was able to reflect um, on the recommendations provided by the um, clinicians from the point of view of a potential client who is a migrant. Um, one of the important recommendations was to explore each client's lens of their own culture. If I would be a client, I would appreciate if the therapist would know where Romania is on the world map. But I would prefer that the therapist learns about my culture through my own eyes instead of reading a research paper or watching a documentary. Another important recommendation was to explore clients' perception of migration, especially if clients perceive migration as a loss. The main disadvantage that I was able to identify for being a migrant researcher um, that applied in my case was the fact that when I was uh, doing data analysis, I was still in the early stages of adjusting to my new life to Australia. Um, to give you an example, in February 2017, I wrote in my reflexive journal that I was um, unhappy with my progress with data analysis because I was distracted by the um, events that were happening at that time in Romania. The um, uh, social and the political context was not uh, um, favorable at that time. One of the main advantages of being an outsider researcher um, is the fact that I was able to stay grounded through data analysis and interpretation, despite coming from a culture characterized as collectivistic and hierarchical. Um, there were definitely um, cultural nuances that I was able to understand. But there were also cultural nuances that um, I found challenging um, or um, extremely different to everything I knew until then. For instance, um, uh, some of the community members and actually a number of the community members suggested attending a session with a support person they didn't suggest involving the support person in the therapeutic process. They just wanted someone to be there for them. And uh, the last advantage I was able to identify was um, the fact that I had no expectations in relation to providing CBT uh, to Chinese clients. To sum up, I developed a qualitative study from a cultural competency perspective, and I ended up discovering cultural humility. And this led to a shift in my own attitude and perspective regarding doing CBT and the way of being a CBT therapist. I um, eventually ended up conceptualizing cultural humility as the glue that holds an entire culturally adapted intervention together. This reflection process made me wonder how uh, this qualitative study would have looked like if it were framed from a cultural humility perspective. And the first answers that came to my mind were that I would have definitely spent more time um, documenting clinicians' uh, self-reflection and self-awareness. In other words, their own journey to develop cultural humility. And the last point I'd like to make is that articulating one's own positionality doesn't offer a guarantee for reducing subjectivity and biases, but is a critical step for ethical research. I'd like to thank my colleague Shana Lawton for her constructive feedback for putting together this presentation. And I'd like to thank you all for watching this presentation. I'm hoping that you enjoyed listening to my journey from cultural competency to um, cultural humility. Thank you. <laughs>